Okay, okay. So I do have something. I do have something stupid to start the podcast with. Um, do. So everyone's familiar with this. Uh, uh, everyone's familiar with Macron. Yes. Um, <laughs> what? <all right>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who that? New phone. Quoi? Who's this? Quoi? <laughs> um, <laughs> Je ne comprends pas. <laughs> 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 I knew this would happen. I'm being bullied by <laughs> <laughs> um, Yeah. Okay. So one one of one of uh, one of one of the little uh, f- one of the weird little oddities of Macron that I think we have all kind of forgotten about because his other oddities are you know louder uh, is his obsession with startups. Um, yeah. So that's mm-hmm. this was very early on into the Macron presidency of just like i want to treat france like a startup and then it would just be me and his replies being like most startups fail so don't don't do that <laughs> <laughs> that seems like a bad idea my dude but um but but his new grand plan that he announced at g7 i believe is that europe should have um by by 2030 should have 10 startups that are all worth 10 billion each right <laughs> yes this is the plan we're just re- remember spotify <laughs> yeah remember spotify remember spotify we just need nine more of those <laughs> so that's what they do at g7 huh they just, like... <laughs> just say the wildest shit no one will hold you to account it's fine you can just say whatever um <laughs> so he said this, right? Which is just okay. That's standard Macron fare. That's kind of what we know him for: cranking out the hits. Um, if you ask me, kind of preferable from this new strategy of we're going to attack Le Pen from the right. That's oh yeah, that's I love that fun. one. <laughs> yeah, please don't do that. <laughs> that so one good. sucks. Go back to talking about blah blah car or whatever the hell you do. Um, <laughs> French startups, but 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 but. Uh, this was then immediately counteracted by the uh, uh, European Commissioner for Innovation, who was just like, uh, yo, that's a stupid idea. <laughs> we shouldn't do that. Um, so that was fun. But also, this announcement came the same day as um, Quant, a French startup, basically failing. Does anyone know what Quant it's, is? It's no. a research... <laughs> It's it's a, like Google, right? But French. Yeah. No? Yes, it's oh, French Google. Yeah. <laughs> French European Google. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's okay for anyone who doesn't know. It's Q and then want English word. So I guess it'd be like, oh, I want to know something. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, like I have to assume oh that was the market. I have a question, and I want yeah. to answer. So. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Yeah, this is. Oh, I'm yeah. gonna. Uh, I'm, go on. I'm gonna use that from now on. I'm gonna use oh, it yeah. from now on. Let, let me. Yeah, I want. I want to know. If- <laughs> you, it's like ask Jeeves. You have to start every query with Wait, I want. You. To know. <laughs> I want to know what the capital of Italy is. Um, yeah, I, I'm. I, I, I do. I'm warning the listeners now. This is going to be like a stupid recurring bit that I'm going to force in the podcast of whenever so yes. whenever something happens where I where we don't know the answer, I'm just going to respond with "Let me quant that real quick." Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. But in uh, in signs of things to come and how great this uh, Macron idea is. Sorry, not ten billion each. I should also say these ten startups are going to be worth a hundred billion each. Um, oh wow! Why well, not? I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we're just saying stuff. <laughs> like, we're just, just big things. Yeah, we're just yeah, we're just, right? we're just we're just writing fan fiction, right? <laughs> it's just, it's gonna be fine, and then and then Morpheus and Neo kiss. It's fine. Uh, welcome, to, welcome to my version of Matrix Four. Uh, <laughs> but okay, okay, okay. So like, in the sign of things to come. Uh, Quant has appealed to be saved, to be kept afloat because the company's not doing well. Uh, it got eight. It got eight million. It's possibly sorry. It's possibly going to get eight million euro worth of funding from um, a little a little company called uh, Huawei. Uh, so yeah, sign of <laughs> things oh, to come. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, it's good. 
Nice, nice one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So like, it's so funny because it it, there's this tech conference happening in Paris, and Macron's being like, "We need more European tech companies. We need to have we need to have like independence from Americanism." Which like like sure, I'm I'm all for like third worldist Macron, um, or <laughs> whatever he's doing now, <laughs> but. Um, it doesn't work. I, I checked all the big like startups of France, like Blah Blah Car, which is I guess you can't change the name now; it's too big. But um, like they all just get money from like California, so this is largely why it's a very stu- stupid idea. But um, don't stop believing that there can be a European Google <laughs> called Quant. <laughs> and I just I believe literally... in the European idea. <laughs> <laughs> this is part I mean, of the European I mean, idea. I, mean, I believe in the European ideal of using a search engine that like no platform supports, <laughs> arming every out like angry Greek person at the border with a gun and just yeah, European exactly. yeah, so, Europe. Yeah, that's probably yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then in classic French fashion, just going buck wild in the Sahel. Um, but yes, we'll we'll talk about that later, perhaps. <sighs> <sighs> okay. So. Okay. Do Do you guys want me to open the episode? <laughs> yes. Sure. We quant that. <laughs> I would quant. I quant it very much. <laughs> Literally could not stop laughing at every word I saw today that just started with Q. I'm picturing, like, I remember an old Facebook where your, like, status was, like, I'm feeling, and I'm picturing, like, I quant, and then you just type the rest in. Oh, it's so good. It's so fucking good. Um, what I don't is know the why design all- like? That's... One last oh, question. What terrible. does it look like? Wait, let me let me go on okay. quant real quick. Yeah, let me just yeah, quant me this too. real quick. For... <laughs> I'm gonna quant I'm gonna quant quant. Does that break I, the I internet? See. The European internet. Ooh. Yeah. The quant. quant. The search engine that respects, that respects your privacy. Right. Well that looks like Google. It looks exactly <laughs> yeah. like Google. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Oh dear de- <laughs> We believe in another model. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're talking all sorts of stuff um quant is great quad really wants you to <laughs> well also quant... like a q a rainbow q hmm. yeah that's well, pride yeah. it's pride right? <laughs> so... oh, oh, oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> the logo yeah the logo is actually usually black no it's not i don't know what it's like i i heard of this yesterday um so who knows this could be a pride logo i i couldn't tell you um but yeah, good luck to Quant. Uh, the future of Europe is resting on your shoulders. Yes. <laughs> While you they... rest on Huawei, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just when you quant something from now on, it's just like, did you mean Belt and Road Initiative? We're pretty sure you meant Belt and Road Initiative. Which, by the way, sure is great. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Quant. Thanks for Thanks, upholding Xi Jinping Tosh. Yeah. Merci quoi. Uh, merci quoi. <laughs> Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to your weekly corner spady. It is the the free episode that you get for free if you want I was going to say the good stuff, but this is going to be good. Uh, did you hear you heard all the quant material we had. This is going to be great. Uh it's your boy, Kieran, and I'm joined by the lovely Yulia. Say hello, Yulia. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Um, for the rest of the episode, I'm just going to pretend I'm speaking French, but I'm just going to say English words <laughs> in an accent. Um, yes, uh, Rob and Nick are absent. Absent? Absent <laughs> from this episode. <laughs> <laughs> absent uh, from this episode uh, they will be back soon uh, but we are joined uh, by Camille from France DSA hello Camille salut oh look at this look at all this I was <laughs> I was told I was told French would be important when I was in secondary school and then I went to Paris and they charged me four euro for a can of coke and I was like we need to burn this city to the ground I will not be having this <laughs> 
Uh, there is a premium in this city on everything that has caffeine in it. I am so fucking tired. <laughs> you know, this would not happen under a benevolent king of France. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Spoiler alert. I, I reluctantly pay four euro for a, co- for a Coke in Paris, and I'm just like, fuck it, I'm a royalist now. Fuck this, the Republic of Spain. <laughs> this sucks. Yes. Mm. Uh, <laughs> sign of things to come. <laughs> yeah, speaking of, exactly. Yes. So the royalists have been in the news lately, interestingly enough, because it's not even that much of like a big faction of the right uh, in France. They're it's like sometimes you can compare it to Reichsbürger a bit, I think, <laughs> <Yeah>. maybe. <laughs> you know, it's like not yeah. so many, but they know how to get the attention of people. I, I would love if French royalists just didn't acknowledge the existence of France. Do they yes. do that? <laughs> oh, excellent. Okay, let's go. That, that would be interesting. What is it then? <laughs> like, yeah. What is it? Why are you um, angry that I yeah, slapped like, this guy? He's just some guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's just some dude. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, I love startups. Yes. Uh, does anyone know the date? Because I don't really know what date, but it's like what, two, one and a half uh, weeks ago or something. Yeah. That yeah. This happened that Macron was getting slapped in the face because he was visiting. <laughs> <laughs> Probably saw the footage uh, if you're following the news. Um, because uh, Macron was visiting Town Lemitage in the Departement Drôme uh, in the southeast of French, uh, France, <laughs> French. <laughs> and. Um, I guess he's doing these kind of tours right now because it's less than a year to the presidential election, which mm-hmm. makes sense that you're touring around because this is a uh, Balkan. This is campaigning again. You know, yeah. I always had the feeling that politicians at some point, they don't do politics anymore. They're just doing campaigning, you know, because yeah, elections yeah, yeah. are coming up. <laughs> <laughs> They're touring. It's like a band. Um, yeah, and and this guy that slapped Macron in the face uh, was yelling, "Mon Dieu, son Denis, avant la Macronie!" <laughs> so French that it rhymes. <laughs> Sick, got so, him, dude. Yeah, yeah. The first the first sentence is associated with the militant royalist right wing movement, um, and the last part means down with the Macronie. So like Macron. Yeah, Ism government, or, I guess. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, yeah, this is not the only incident where we would talk about the other incident later. Um, it's just interesting. So you have like five, they don't even fucking agree with each other, the royalists. Um, so you have like five <laughs> royalist branches in France. Um yeah. And five different yep. parties. Yep. <laughs> what? Oh, uh, great. Yes. And they can't agree on who the king is. <laughs> the king is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, I love this. I love this. We did this with the... Um, <laughs> We did this on we did this in the bonus feed recently with uh, um, the people claiming to be the successor of the throne of Italy. And it's oh. like... There's like an Instagram influencer family. And then there's just like... A Russian tire company fa- family. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing about the successors of the French throne, <laughs> what they're up to. I mean, yeah, they're uh, well. You also have five parties, which is interesting because they like kind of vary between or like um, the the directions of, of royalism, um, and one of them is actually considered left. Nouvelle Action Royaliste is considered left as far as i know or like kind of like center left. center left so left that is maybe monarchist? the benevolent okay. yeah the benevolent king i was speaking about yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> um uh, yeah but uh, most of them are more yeah sorry go 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 no continue <laughs> I was just, I just like the idea of the left wing French party just being like, yeah, we've we've found we've we've won the French elections. We are now going to install the successor to the royal family, which is Stalin's great grandson, uh, <laughs> to rule this country with an iron fist and kill any merchant who tries to sell a coke for four euro. <laughs> um, one euro for one I mean- can. They are, they are also a lot into Charles de Gaulle somehow. This mm-hmm. like oh, yeah. uh, 
party, which is quite interesting. Uh, they want like a constitutional France, like a, mo- a constitutional monarchy. So okay. maybe, I don't know, they love the UK. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> a famously well working and- system. <laughs> Uh, those that are more interesting to us, though, are Restauration Nationale, that uh, is considered to be extreme right, Action Française as well, and Alliance Royale. Um, but they, as I said, are also kind of fighting because they are like the Orleanists, like, uh, so Orleans, and Legitimists. And they rival for a long time um, because they, as we said, don't know who is a contender for the throne. <laughs> The yes. uh, Orleanists are more liberal, considered more liberal. They uh, support Jean de France, Count of Paris, <laughs> descendant of the younger brother of Louis uh, <laughs> XIV. <laughs> oh, okay. <I> the <laughs> legitimists the are French more numbers. traditional. Yes. yes yeah. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. They are more traditional. They support the direct descendants of Louis XIV. So it's, uh, <laughs> everything has to do with Louis. <laughs> we need that <laughs> but from the <laughs> yeah, from the Spanish branch of the Bourbon, Louis de oh, Bourbon, <laughs> Bourbon, <laughs> Louis, Louis de Bourbon. <laughs> That's um, how I would say it. Yes. Yes, exactly. So they are kind of like, um, yeah, not not agreeing on that, but they do sometimes bury the hatchet uh, when they attend ceremonies in honor of Jean uh, Jean of Arc, for example, Jean d'Arc. So. <laughs> Which is uh, which is nice. I, I'm glad that they sometimes just yeah. like can agree and uh, live in perfect harmony. Yeah. Um, so they love back to see to women the... winning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so uh, back to Macron getting slapped in the face. Uh, yeah. Both of these men are considered like there were two. So one of them slapped him. The other one was just a bystander, kind of like cheering him on or something. I don't really know what the other he, one was okay. doing. Uh, okay. Um, okay. Okay. Yeah. So they're both 20 year old dudes uh, from the region. And what is now funny and interesting is one of them is very much into historic uh, European martial arts. <laughs> Hema! Hema shit! Yes! <laughs> okay, Kemi, Kemi, have you seen Hema before? Historical European martial arts? I have not. <laughs> All right, all right. Envision this. You okay. and 10 of your best friends okay, go great. to a field in Ukraine. <laughs> okay. Dressed in your finest armor, armed with a sword. <laughs> and then and then you fight 10 other guys <laughs> dressed in armor with swords. And then this is filmed, put on YouTube. There is commentary over it. There's people in the stands cheering you on. You might be dating one of them. I don't know. This feels like a, this feels very much like drag your partner to this kind of event. Um, a lot of like unwilling but supportive girlfriends and boyfriends. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's nice. I hope they. <laughs> I hope they find Dude, love. Um, it's, we've watched so many videos of that, like especially with like people with the GoPros attached their heads or their helmets, I guess. So you can really see the action. It's, um, <laughs> it's really dumb and it's really great. And of course he's into it. Of course he's into yeah, it. Yeah. It's, this is European heritage. This yeah. is the light culture everyone's talking about. Exactly. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh, I can find um, a Hema club near me. Okay, sorry. Oh, I'm Oh, <laughs> Go in, reporter on the ground. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. So I, I'm curious, but, yeah, actually. Yeah. Sorry, before we move on too much, I am curious what like the reaction in France was to this event because, yeah. uh, like, international Twitter, we had like people shared it. People were very excited because we don't like Macron. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And I think it was like me and a couple of other people who like pay attention to European shit. Just be like, no. No, we're pretty yeah. sure he's a royalist. Don't yeah, know. a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot of like French, like, you know, French people responding to Americans and like other people who were like, hell yeah, being like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not sure this is great. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah. 
I definitely was like, I mean, it's still funny. Like, let's yes. be honest. Oh, very um, much so, yeah. <laughs> but there's like it's very there's like they um they interviewed the guy and then like one of the friends that was there like with him supporting and his the guy so they're interviewing his friend and you can see the guy who eventually slaps him behind him and he he literally has a joker t-shirt on oh, yes! <laughs> yes! 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 it's yes! real good like i think yeah you you know the guy. Like, he's, it's definitely. Je suis. Type of dude. <laughs> je suis Jocophie. Je suis Jocophie. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that really fits. I, I've seen his Instagram. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. He's posing. No, 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 no European martial arts shaming here. He's posing mm. in a lot of armor and, and just. Mm. Like, yeah, he's yeah. a proud knight. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I think one thing, though, is that, like, the like media was i mean and even my home it was very quickly just like oh you know debates which means like he just was like a, like very much the like oh just a young guy who doesn't know what he's doing discourse yeah. like immediately um yeah. which yeah is sort of i mean par for the course with the Macron um government yeah. when it comes to like far-right violence even if it's against <laughs> yourself um, <laughs> it's like nothing happened please keep calm yeah it's like, but uh, it's like, this is like the lesser version of like um you yeah, you possibly remember of the last ukrainian election when like zelensky gets nominated and like poroshenko uh, the the current president the chocolate king of ukraine is like yes. touring around Ukraine and like everywhere he goes, his stage just gets rushed by neo Nazis. And yeah. just like all his his answer is always just like, I don't know why they're doing it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, and, yeah, just, like, crazy kids. <laughs> <laughs> nothing to see here. Nothing, like, <laughs> nothing to nothing foreboding about what's nothing. happening in Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it is interesting, like the whole touring thing, like I think especially as someone who comes from the US, like that's like a very normal thing for politicians to do in the States. Yeah. And I mean, it happens in France, but there's much less of like, um, like there's, you know, like there wouldn't be like if Macron came to Lyon, there wouldn't be like a rally or anything like it's very it's not very much in the culture for just like people to show up to like meet the president. Like, um, yeah. and so the people who do show up <laughs> are, uh, yeah, usually have something to say have yeah <laughs> something to talk about um, yeah. it's, it's, they yeah, don't either, come to shake hands yeah <laughs> i mean it's 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 possibly like it's going to be a 50 50 split of just like i just wanted to tell you macron you're great and here's a drawing i did of you i love you yeah, exactly. and then it's going to be other guy just like i don't know just wearing a t-shirt saying like napoleon was right or something <laughs> like, yeah. um, oh that by the way it's, oh, yeah. it's also a direction of the royalists. It's like uh, the Bonaparte direction. So oh, yes, the Bonaparte. Like, yeah, Bonaparte. Yeah, Bonaparte. I mean, he, yeah. <laughs> it's like, I mean, he was, come on, he was there, the last one. Come on, like, let's do that. <laughs> I was talking about Empire Waste dresses the other day. They're coming back. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> Get your royalist look. Exactly. Get your Bonaparte look. <laughs> Um, um, that's a fashion summer fashion and so yeah. Of, <laughs> uh, yeah the, the, you, the royal fashion week yeah the royalists <laughs> hold a competing fashion <laughs> week yeah. that hasn't been <laughs> hasn't been cucked by republicanism <laughs> yeah seriously yeah. so yeah uh, continue with this like uh, they both also love medieval inspired board games i don't know why that is an information but i have this information um, oh, oh okay guess. okay so this is something i saw that i wanted to talk about a little bit yeah. which is uh one of the like reports of when they searched his room was just like mm -hmm. there was a flag for like um I, I don't know what you call it but like the the, the three fleur de lis flag like the, that old french flag and then like mm -hmm. there was a flag for like you know uh, interwar Germany. There was a flag for the Soviet Union. And what? Woo. Yeah, there was. Yeah, just no, really like that time. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> this, which time? This guy is fucking. <laughs> this guy is fucking addicted to the video game Hearts of Iron Four. That's all it is. This is it's like your brain on like grand strategy games. This is like <laughs> fucked you up politically. 
Um, yeah, the article that was like the I think it was like the police or the investigator was just like uh, called it like a, an ideological slurry or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Which was yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually yeah. Um, that's actually yeah. What a lot of people said is like this: this ideology is kind of like mush, like a slurry, yeah. As you said that is like. Um, friends described him as uh, some of his friends described him as uh, apolitical. So his name is like Damien uh, Tarel, as far as I know. Um, he's now like he already got his sentence like four months, yeah. as far as I know. Yeah. yeah. And people say he was uh, also close to the Gilet Jean movement, but like the right wing faction yeah, of it, yeah, of yeah. course. I mean, we know this is a very like vast movement. Yeah, yeah. Being affiliated with the Gilets Jaunes like doesn't really, you know, it's yeah. there's no like, yeah. it's huge. Like so, it's yeah. not an indication yeah, of exactly. anyone. It, it just means you don't like Macron. You, Pretty you much. Don't want Macron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but but as you already said, like Macron afterwards said like something. After the incident, um, I quote, uh, there have been moments of very high tension and violence in our country, which I've had to experience as president during the Gilets jaunes crisis. But society, <laughs> <is> in, <laughs> but society is in a different place today. And I'm like, dude, seriously. Uh... <laughs> that is the problem that you see in French society right now is this movement. Which, like, right. does not exist in the same ma- meaningful way that it did, like, a couple of years ago. Exactly. It's very but fascinating. I, yeah. I, I do like just, like, uh, oh, you know, it's, it's Macron has been like, it's a different country now. And then, like, Jean-Luc Mélenchon is just like, someone's probably going to get killed before the next <laughs> election. Yeah. Seriously, like, yeah. Something's going to go that- down. <laughs> Yeah, that is actually interesting because after the the Mélenchon um, um, incident, he said uh, something like everyone has to stay calm and respectful uh, to not weaken democracy after after uh, what happened uh, on YouTube, which is fun- funny because after oh, yeah. that he got slapped in the face. So uh, he seems to really try to not make this a thing, to not yeah, make definitely. far right... Yeah, movements in France a thing. Uh, he's trying really hard, and it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> because like even even the rest of the like political class like was kind of outraged about what happened. Like Jean Castex um, said, like this was a threat to the republic and democracy is in mm. danger in front of the national uh, assembly. As I think. But Macron is all like, okay, chill, guys. Like, there's nothing going on. There's all is fine, <laughs> all is steady. Um, it's but it's yeah, your classic so- stop pointing out the problems with the society, I run. Everything's <laughs> fine. <laughs> Please, stop it. <laughs> No, but I find I find this really interesting. This kind of movement, the uh, royal, is very interesting because, like, it, it is the pride of France is the is the republic. You know, hmm. it's the republic, and even like the conservatives Absolutely. or the like the the classic far right, for example, mm-hmm. they are all about the republic. You know, this is France. This is patriotism. This is, yeah. and and it's fascinating that these guys don't even like the republic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> yeah, but I, I feel like it's a very similar attitude of when like people in Germany don't like the constitution or like criticize the constitution, like the the, the Grundgesetz, and just like there's your kind of uh, establishment people being like, you can't do, no, you can't do that. <laughs> That's our thing. That's the thing we like. You can't be mean <laughs> to the constitution. <laughs> can't be mean to the Republic. That's what we did. We did that. No, but yeah, it's, it's something that kind of falls out of like the ordinary. I mean, it's the same with Reichsburg, I guess. Like no. that it falls yeah. out of the ordinary, like far right, you know, because it's like for the far right, it's always love mm. it. And like, uh, and we gotta defend uh, West Western uh, values against Islam and stuff like that. So that yeah. is normally what you hear in France. Like, what the main issue is of the far right. So yeah, these guys are something else. And there is another incident uh, with uh, royalists. Uh, we just mentioned it before. It was with uh, it. It happened to what. Well, it didn't happen to him, but <laughs> it was also. <laughs> um, yeah. it, involves uh, yeah. hmm? it involves him. In, in, yeah, in, yeah, it involves yeah, John Luc uh, Mélenchon, 
and Papacito. What what a fucking name! Like what a yeah. fucking name! <laughs> What's uh, the name? I don't know. Come here, Papacito. Papacito, the okay. YouTube guy. Yeah, Papacito. yeah. I mean, it's, that, Spanish, yeah. it's a Spanish name. Yeah. yeah. Do you know more about him, Camille? Like a bit. Um, not like much, um, to be honest. I mean, I know that they like are. It's like part of this whole community on YouTube where they like make like sort of explanatory videos about how to use guns, mostly like very into like um, gun culture and also interestingly like explicitly fascist. Like they call themselves fascists, um, <laughs> which is like a fun. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I, mean, so, I don't know usually like the quiet you know it's like they say the quiet part loud I guess but um they like um yeah very into this whole like um idea of France like I don't know if like, a few years back there was this like whole scandal about this like um apéro saucisson pinard which is like um this type of sausage and wine and it's based it's these like sort of I don't know. It's hard to describe. like. Um, no, tell me about the sausage French, French, like, no, no. Yeah, Exactly, <laughs> cured meats. That is the I'm... true European tradition. Yes, um. yes. <laughs> sausage is the most insane shit if you think about it for the more than five <laughs> seconds. They yeah. are. Like, no, but just like I mean, let's be honest. Like that shit, scary guys. I mean, and if you watch yeah. the video with, I mean, with this like effigy that is supposed to represent. Um, like Mélenchon or a Mélenchon supporter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. really, really scary. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I've not watched the video. I I just like know that wait, there has been a plate of quinoa and a box of tampons in the copy of uh, Liberation, mm -hmm. like next to it or something to yeah. to like kind of. Yeah, show that this is, you know, this is... This, yeah, like the generic the left. left. Yeah. They got, like, gaucho in France, like, or gauchiste. But, but like, yeah. they... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's, like, a Che poster behind them, but for some reason it's, like, okay. backwards. It's yeah. unclear whether, like, the it's, like, a phone Marriage situation video, yeah. or, like, a... Well, maybe, I, there's, okay. maybe it means... I don't know. Maybe Che got it backwards. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> Don't don't describe too much to this. <laughs> like, yeah. But, uh, yeah, maybe. but like I do, I do love just like the 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 stereotype like all oh, the left you know them using sanitary products yeah. uh, <laughs> look, look at this. and reading uh, women look, yeah, yeah well, look at this uh, look at this <laughs> look at this fucking. Look at this. Okay, classic French term that I love. Look at this as Lamo leftist, which is just uh -huh. I love that. Ding ding, yeah. ding 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 oh, yeah. I can love that joke. Look at him. Look at him there. Using toilet paper. Weird. <laughs> this is it. This isn't what France is about. We're about bidets. We look <laughs> classic French bidet. Yeah. Tampons, real talk though, okay. bidets are awesome. <laughs> sure, sure. We all we all so love bidets say. here. Not to like horseshoe theory is real for like bidet <laughs> worship. <laughs> But um, I do. I, it's like, it's, okay, I get, I get, I get quinoa. I get the Che poster. Sure, mm -hmm. classic. The hits. We love them. Um, tampons <laughs> is just throw me. For <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, yeah. oh, real fascist women. They just bleed through their pants. Yeah, blood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> the royalist friend. Oh, no, yeah. not right. Well, yeah, he he does like yeah. He also I, uh, yeah. wants to return to royalism in the sense of like a uh, Fra Franco situation, right? He 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 wants like a king oh. and a Franco. So he, like, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh. So, yeah. he wants fascism royalist. plus yeah plus the king. So like yeah. this is this is something yeah. something else. Yeah, but yeah, as for. Yeah, it's, it's it's interesting. Like you have different branches here, and they're all like kind of melting together. And maybe they're all like having yeah. parties for for Jeanne d'Arc or something like that. But... <laughs> <laughs> but so is Papacito? Is he Spanish? Like because he has a Spanish name. I mean, he lives in France, obviously, but like he really loves Franco. <laughs> so I was just wondering. Yeah, and also like the other name he goes by, Co Code Reno. Yeah, Code Reno. Yeah. Reno. 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 Yeah. 
Yeah, that's Rignon. not the French for king. Yeah, right? neither of them. Yeah, Claude yeah. Rignon. That sounds but... Portuguese for, to me. With the yeah. H. Yeah, With the H yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, I don't know what he's doing there, but like, yeah, he got big lately. Like, a lot yeah. of those channels, actually, of the YouTube channels got yeah. quite big. Um, and as far as I know, the strategy a lot of the times is like, okay, you, okay, they've been quite radical and open and without dog whistles, whistles in this one. Like they're literally yeah. shooting mm. someone. <laughs> I mean, so. they shoot and then they stab it also. Like, it's, oh yeah. I mean, it's, yeah, it's really fright. I mean, it's just like yeah. insane. Um, and he says he, he did that because of like um, this would happen to a leftist, a radical leftist during a civil war scenario or something like that. Yeah. Right? Mm. Like he says something like that. I don't Definitely. know. He's referring to it, which kind of is the stuff, you know, what happened in the US a lot of the time, just referring to civil war, kind of like giving a hint, hint. Maybe you want to do mm-hmm. it, you know, maybe you want to yeah. start it. Um, yeah. I mean, it's also openly a threat, of course, you know, like it's, this well, is not yeah. like only. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's, it's not a cute like couple. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not just like, Oh, I mean, it's literally a try this at home kids. Like it's, they like are actually yeah. like showing, they like talk about like showing you how to use guns, like showing, like talking about which are the best, like it's extremely like, it's like how to, it's like a right wing yeah. DIY. Yeah. Like, yeah, wiki how so, to yeah. start. <laughs> That's often how like a lot of these kind of channels can get big. Is yeah. like they start off as like you can have a gun YouTube channel that is just like guns. This is what they're like. This is what mm. they do. This is how you shoot them. Uh, uh, anyway, <laughs> thanks for subscribing to my video about the best way to salt water for making pasta at home. Um, the, the Muslims are invading my country. Hit that bell notification. See you next time. Like it's just like, and yeah. then they start peppering in the like insane shit. Uh, this is very common with like, which I guess the gun kind of stuff is kind of related, but like survivalist YouTube, mm-hmm. like people yeah. who are like how to catch a bear, how to like hunt, how to set up a tent. Because then it will just get, because it's also very similar of just like, here's the best knives. And it's, yeah. Yeah. And then it gets all mm-hmm. violent and weird and political. Yeah. So like, uh, we like guns are illegal as like in most of Europe, but you can mm-hmm. do like a, a, a hunter's license, right? It's like yeah. in Germany. Oh. Yeah. And, and I heard you have like something like a, a lobby kind of thing for that as well. So that is very Print. sectarian. And, the hunt, the yeah. hunters, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, huge, like huge part of like rural French culture is like the hunting lobby, and it's like, I mean, um, they have like special rights, special access to land. Um, they can't be charged for trespassing, and also in a lot of um, in a lot of places, mm. it's the only like I know like where my family is from is in um, like not too far from Toulouse, and the it's like a amu. I mean, it's like not even a village where we're from. There's like not even like, and the only thing that is still <laughs> like there, it's like a few houses and the hunters association, and they, <laughs> oh. yeah, there's like we a run this retirement shit. community Don't you and <laughs> no, and it's like I mean, it's, it's the only social club there. The one they organize everything like they, um, and it's that way in a lot of places in France. Um, and it's I mean not to like. So it's just this very, and it's like, they um, just basically drink red wine and hunt. <laughs> and it's like, nor- it's super normal. They get d- drunk. Um, and it's so much so that I think, <laughs> um, I was telling Kira on this, but like my friends who like go out mushroom, for, like foraging for mushrooms sometimes, like wear high vis, like bites, like cyclist gear so that the hunters don't mistake them for animals yeah, because seriously. it's something that happens be... yeah um and it happens it's like I very would... <laughs> so, yeah sorry 
No, no, no worries. No, I would not want to be shot by a drunk uh, hunter, to be honest. I don't know. This sounds yes. like... <laughs> like, it sounds like I, some Game of Thrones moment, you know. You go yeah. hunting, and the king is and the king is dead. Yeah, <laughs> ultimate, 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 ultimate royalist <laughs> shit, <laughs> killing your enemies in an yeah. accidental hunting trip. <laughs> <laughs> but I just love the idea uh, of just uh, being absolutely shit faced. I was probably like, you know, it's po- mid- yeah. Sorry, like. Very like possibly very good wine by German standards, middling wine by French standards, and then just like, huh? It's weird that deer is wearing a high vis. Shoot, <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, how that happened? Hanging out Animals with yeah. <laughs> yeah. So they're, um, yeah, was, they're loving, the loving that, yeah, really, really strong, and especially in like rural communities, but even nationally, like. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, because they're they're organized mm-hmm. uh, to an extent. Though I I assume that they are leaning towards a more like right wing uh, politics. Uh, uh, you would be correct. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's so unfortunate. <laughs> so would that be like traditionally Les Republicans kind of voters? Maybe now switching to yeah. national rally. Definitely, like okay. yeah. Interesting. More on that later, probably. Yeah, cool. elections. <laughs> elections. <laughs> Here on shit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, one more thing, like one more note on the like YouTube stuff. Though, like we know, we all know, kind of like out of other countries as well, that this is a very effective way to to gather people to reach people especially if you do it in this kind of like dog whistle way even though i think the papacito thing was not like very yeah. subtle not well, subtle was, like, at all moves, but yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> i see you're, you're pushing the boundaries um, for youtube cred amongst the right-wing circles of just like mm-hmm. oh my video got taken down yeah and then, like, with a lot of these, like, videos, you would later kind of uh, then redirect the people, your, your, your followers, your listeners, or something, to, as far as I know, like, Telegram channels where you have more I- ideology, where yep. you can say more shit, like, more racist shit, more, more uh, threat to the democracy shit, you know, like, all, all of that. So that's how it works, right wing oh, organizing yeah. these days. Isn't it beautiful? Ooh. Everyone loves the internet technology. <laughs> my, my, my family were so concerned that I was like alt right because they found out I used Telegram. And I oh, was no. like, no, really? it was used by organizers before. No. Yeah. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh, yeah, but it's uh, the image has been tarnished because of this kind of stuff. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, not only the royalists are doing these kind of things. Um, also, there was a, like I'm just like mentioning now, like a little other case because we'd love to talk about the military on Konos Beti and its uh, weird as right wing affiliations. And earlier this year in April, uh, military generals in France uh, called to support a tough on crime and pro security candidate, uh, which is not a surprise, of course. Um, um, yeah. um, the, the letters was like critical of like the Macron government. It was mm-hmm. like it was saying France is you know going towards a civil war or kind of collapse, which is very reminiscent of a similar letter that was penned in Spain earlier mm-hmm. this year as mm-hmm. well. Um, so I really just love that like governments are getting these letters on a regular basis <laughs> from yeah. generals. <laughs> uh, <laughs> So mm. here are my two cents to the situation of La Republique. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, writing letters. That, that's uh, that's the classic way. Um, yeah, they also say in these letters like that a certain a certain anti racism divides the French. I don't know what they mean with a certain anti racism, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't know if you're anti racist, there should be no like specificity in like what you're like what group you want to, you know, protect and which not. <laughs> so like. That's such an interesting choice of phrase. Yeah. yeah, yeah just like, I I, what does it mean? Like, uh, like, 
is this the kind of thing where it's like you have the new you kind of have like the new right in like germany as well where they know mm-hmm. not to be like anti-semitic because you yeah. know mm-hmm. optics but they're just like yeah let's go ham on fucking muslims though i can we can do that yeah so I, I, i'm not against anti-racism just a certain type of anti lately <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> exactly and yeah, I'm convinced that they are referring to Muslims in this uh, yeah. scenario mm. because I mean that is the French's number one how to be racist topic. Um, yes. Oh, do you do you want to do you want the terrifying fact that I found out this week in a lot yes, of the like please. research I did? Um, I love terrifying facts. <laughs> so, uh, as, as we all know, France is the like number one colorblind nation. You're not allowed. Uh, you're not allowed to ask anyone their 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 race, and mm-hmm. they don't do it in the census and things like that, which means you have to turn to like independent reports to see how like certain demographics are actually doing. Um, so this is from Reuters: the death rate among those in France born in North Africa uh, is two times higher than those born in uh, um, metropolitan France from COVID. Um, yeah, it's um, not good. Um, they had a very troubling yeah. interview with a, a, a guy on uh, on Reuters of just like um, visiting his dad's grave, which he does every week. And he was just mm. like, when when I was here, this was the newest grave. And now like the whole plot has been filled out. Yeah, oh, um, yeah, yeah. The apparently the explanation from this from like the head of Union of Muslims in, in France mm-hmm. is he basically says it's class like the the people born in north africa are largely working jobs that couldn't stay home like they're yeah. binmen they're service workers um mm-hmm. and were exposed greatly to the pandemic so um yeah france yeah yeah that makes sense i mean yeah. uh this this yeah the, i mean it, it's something that the military generals also mentioned but like of course against working class like they're talking about like the horse horse of the suburbs of the banlieue mm, so yeah. this is the yeah this is the working class and like how you have to because they're like widening out or something like that and you have to keep them in and you have to have the courage to to you know fight these dangers and of course we all know what that means again like yeah yeah mm-hmm. come on they elected Sarkozy as president and we all know what Sarkozy said during the riots and the bon Dieu. um yeah didn't he so, make the didn't he make the like smell funny comment the like really racist comment the smell yeah. the roaches this yeah. kind of stuff yeah, yeah, yeah comparing people to insects or animals or yeah. whatever and yeah and later he became president and everyone loved him because he dated carla Bunny. Yeah. <laughs> that's the reason <laughs> <laughs> but um, he might be we'll see he might be uh facing some i mean not for being racist but uh <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> unfortunate. yeah he might be facing some i mean i would be shocked if he does any jail time with regards to mm. this but we'll see sentence sentence or the fun like that. Yeah, yeah i'm sure we will uh i think we will return to what has happened to uh sarkozyism a, a, a little later but Yulia please Ooh, nice 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 looking forward to that so yeah <laughs> of course uh, of course this letter also caused uh, like outrage on the left uh, saying that this um, sounds like uh, they overstepped their power boundaries here mm. like writing this letter giving these suggestions like military giving a suggestion suggestion like or demanding things from the government and um yeah, like even even like even uh, centrist minister uh, uh, of the army, as far as uh, Florence Pali said, okay, this is bullshit. Don't do that. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Basically, something in, in that in that direction. But yeah, so the left hasn't been quiet about this. Like just recently, on the twelfth, there has been a protest, the rally for our liberties and against the ideas of the far right, where. Le Monde, they posted like this kind of like manifesto or this like um, aufruf shit uh, call 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 to to protest not a call to arms but a call to protest against the climate of hate that is developing in France about like the threat of individual and collective rights etc and it was as far as I know like sixty organizations being involved in in the whole protest 
I don't know if maybe I mean, you know more about this. Like, can can you like maybe give us some detail background? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I mean, I was at the March in Lyon, which happened on Sunday, not mm -hmm. Saturday. Um, and it was like, it's called like March de la Liberté, ou de Liberté. Um, so like March for like Liberty. Um, but definitely like uh, the like anti far um, right march in response to, I mean, because we've been talking about like Macron getting slapped and like these YouTube political commentators. But I mean, they're. Like the far right in France has been active for a while and increasingly so. Um, I mean, here in Lyon a couple months ago, like there's Lyon is interesting because there's a very there's like a very strong fascist um, like neighborhood, um, which is like far right, but like not even necessarily like FN or RN now. Um, mm. And like they repeatedly like they um like broke into this like anarchist bookstore and like destroyed pretty much everything. They like show up to, Shit. um, yeah, like, uh, stuff, which is like, you know, not just like publishing stuff online or doing it. Yeah. yeah and like they showed up, there was like, a the like, um, like lesbian, uh, March, uh, like a couple weeks ago and they showed up like in like big groups there too. Um, they didn't show up to the rally this um, Saturday or Sunday in Lyon, I think for probably obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, it's, um, a problem. <laughs> it's a big problem. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, if I'm, um, hmm? if I'm not mistaken, Go. the total number I heard out in the streets of the, the, March of Liberties. Uh, I, I was trying to repeat the French word and I forgot it. But uh, even though it's very similar, the uh, um, I believe the total number was like 37,000 people came out, which is pretty good. Like yeah. across the whole country. Yeah. Uh, across, across the whole country. I, yeah. Okay. Ah, I, I saw have? like 120,000 people in 140 think, cities. Yeah, I think 37 is Paris. Uh, yeah, okay, exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah that's that would only, make a lot yeah. more sense to me. Yeah, yeah. Right. which yeah. is amazing, of course. Yeah, this is also something that, like, we yeah. have to say that 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 the left in France is is is, is strong still, always has been. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, the right is uh, getting stronger, or always was kind of strong. Like, let's let's not like let's not joke about yeah, like, that's the thought, important thing. Yeah, yeah, I think. <laughs> It's nothing no. recent, only. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I'm just uh, I'm just quanting something really quick. I just uh, I just found out about this thing called. I don't know if you guys have heard of this Vichy France. <laughs> Sus as fuck. I don't yeah! like it. <laughs> <laughs> that um, was a great historical moment of France. Uh, <laughs> yes, yeah, <that>. collaboration. <laughs> I, I, Collab I do, there was one thing. <laughs> There was one thing I found out recently. Um, I've forgotten the name of it, but during VG France, there was a youth movement yeah. that were like, you know, sent to forced labor camps and were like made illegal and stuff. And it was literally just like kids who dressed in big suits. And that was like the whole movement. I can't remember what they're called. I mean, it begins with Z. It was a cool word. Oh, the Zuzus oh. or something like that. Maybe it's something like the Zuzus. Zuzus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zuzus, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I. I know them because they were also in the U.S. actually on on the coast. Um, I think so. Maybe I'm mistaking. I, I just I think I read something about it. Also with the huge like um, suits and and the thing was they were on the coast and every time like soldiers would come back from the war in like come mm. come back to the U.S. they would punch punch these kids because they were discriminated against by every kind of, also by the American socialists because you know America so like um, and as far as I know it was like a working class thing like wearing yeah. these huge suits and it's yeah so I, that I, makes I, sense I, just love that. Um, I think it was <laughs> everyone looking like David Byrne um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> off talking heads yeah I'm sorry was, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just in case this one <laughs> um, but yeah uh, which is then also interesting I mean 
like you have very prominent figures like Eric Zemmour, for example. Yeah. You know, being on TV like almost twenty four seven. At least he get, All the time. yeah. At least he gets his forty five minutes of I don't know how long he speaks then uh, about uh, against Muslims, against mm -hmm. how the how the against uh, the separatism is the big exactly catch all term. Big, <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. is this is this like the German term for uh, like what's the German word German. they use? Pa uh, parallel society is that is that the kind yeah. of same concept? Basically. Yeah. Yeah. It's basically, yeah, basically like, yeah, the like, sep I guess they, like separatist and I mean, it, they use it to encompass, it's like sort of like Islamogoshism. It's like this mm -hmm. term for those who want to like separate themselves from the Republic and the values of the Republic and the. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. That, that sounds very similar to the German idea of the parallel society of just mm -hmm. like, oh, there, there are. Uh, people of an unspecified ethnicity that I won't mention right now that have their own places of worship and yeah. uh, they have their like dinner kebab shops. I, you can't tell who I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. So it sounds like a very similar. Totally. Concept. Like, kind of, I mean, he is a columnist for Le Figaro, which is yeah. the right wing newspaper in Paris, like the the right wing newspaper of mm. um, France. Uh, he was he was kind of like um, I think he had to pay a fine because he was uh, for for the crime of um, like trying to cause race like uh, racial uh, hate, hate, hate crimes. Yeah, 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 racial yeah. Hate, hate crimes. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he has this uh, typical stuff of like, okay, Islam is going to take over. Um, feminism mm -hmm. is a threat to, oh, yeah. it's, it's, it's trying to, it's, it's, uh, like it's a war against a white heterosexual man. <laughs> yeah. And he's been like, yeah. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, he's been like him and they've also been adopting like, the cancel culture like narrative mm. from the u.s a lot recently which is i mean classic like shouted from their non-stop tv appearances <laughs> um uh he also is known for kind of like um um downplaying the anti-semitism of the vichy regime which is <laughs> which is interesting because he himself <laughs> is a algerian jewish but he's yeah a but he's yeah yeah, yeah. No, continue. Yeah. <laughs> I he I think he's um what they call in France pieds noirs, mm -hmm. which are um like white Europeans born in Algeria when Algeria yeah. was French and yeah. who returned. Uh, who have, yeah. Um, yeah. 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 A tendency Settler to population. Be, yeah, yeah. Um Yeah. More like colonialism stuff kind yeah. of. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but like yeah. that that's also like uh, the downplaying the anti-semitism of Vichy France is so fucking funny to me because uh, uh, a listener of the show did uh, uh, put us on to the fact that Vichy France sent Jews to Nazi Germany even though Nazi Germany didn't ask for it explicitly <laughs> um, um, yep yeah Being ahead of the time <laughs> like... yeah just like it's just that go-getter attitude you want exactly to startup Germany? culture <laughs> <laughs> No, that's great. Much like Quant Vici France lasted forever. <laughs> oh my it's god. Bright TV, bright TV. <laughs> god damn it. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Just um just go get that that classic yeah, go like get horrible shit. Out. I mean the Vichy government was like yeah, just horrible shit. Monstrous. Yeah. But of course everyone yeah. was a res everyone was in the resistance. Yes, yes. Of course. Yes. Everyone, yes. nobody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we know that here. Like, here, yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. was also. Like, in oh, Germany, of course, everyone of was. Uh, <laughs> Nobody's uh, grandfather was in the SS. No. Nobody is. I don't oh. know how they did that. I don't know how they. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. The I don't know how it happened. Like, I don't know either. Uh, <laughs> I, I was just. I was just the uh, the Opa Gruppenführer for the 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 Reichskommissariat of Moscow, um, but I was resistance, you know. Yeah. I, I was so slow to file my reports. I really gummed up the work. French, French bureaucracy has resistance. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you got to destroy it from the inside. Oh. <laughs> There was actually, there was a, uh, there was, I did read like a historical essay about like how 
the shittiness of French bureaucracy saved a lot of Jewish people. That's great. Mm, that that wouldn't surprise great. me. That's because great. like no, like, it was apparently just like the Jewish person being processed for a million years, and the bureaucrat yeah, was, like, was just oh, like, "Oh, you need to refill out this form." <laughs> yeah, bureaucrat would just be like, "Ah, oh, just go. <laughs> it's fine. Just leave. <laughs> I'm gonna clock out. It's three o'clock. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it's yeah, I, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's two o'clock, and I'm already drunk and ready to exactly. shoot. Exactly, <laughs> like saving people <laughs> by getting wine. wine drunk at noon is <laughs> the classic French like experience. Just like takes my gun. Time to go find some deer. Uh, Vive la resistance. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. Yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yeah, but but yeah, I, I think like in January we could say there is and and yeah, of course, like we were just talking about these um these recent incidents right now and just because I thought it would be interesting to talk about like the militant royalists because they're yeah. not such a big group in France. So it's kind of like talking about Reichsbürger in Germany, so they you know, they don't have too many members, but they've been they've been in the media quite a lot recently <laughs> so they, they have like some action yes. uh, but of course there is far fucking worse than slapping Macron in the face as you said I mean, there's like a lot of people that are not they they don't care if they kill someone just say it like that yeah. and and there's a lot of uh, ideologues that have a big fucking platform it's not only the YouTube channels and shit like that it's people like Eric Zemmour it's people like Drummond uh, who actually, mm-hmm. like, I think is hanging out with Zemmour and who is, like, Drummond is, like, a big-ass anti-Semite, as far as I know. So, like, I think Zemmour doesn't fucking care <laughs> at all. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It is, there is shit going on in France. And that is why, like, this this protest was so important and it was great that there were so many people actually attending, you know. So, um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, and definitely like a rallying, I mean, definitely something that like, you know, can bring some of our friends on the left together. Um, because I mean, we're all like, yeah, affected by it and For sure. kind of scary exactly. stuff. <laughs> this Sunday, 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 <laughs> regional elections are <laughs> happening in, in France, in the regions of France. What does this mean for France? Fuck all. <laughs> Largely, I, I I watched uh, I watched France twenty four do like a vox pop of like people in the street of like what what do the people oh. of the regions do? And they were just like, no, oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. No, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. So what they actually do is they like decide budget where the budgets go i don't think they don't mm-hmm. even decide the budgets they just tell people where the money goes um and that can like make your local region like a bit more you know palatable or whatever i guess but the reason why everyone is talking about these elections is because they're a year away from the presidential election which is the big one the big cojone that's a french word um maybe um <laughs> <laughs> the big kahuna i think i'm going to say kahuna anyway um so what's going to actually happen with this election is i think kind of it's interesting and i think is telling us something about what's going on namely with the right wing um so and i think this is uh, I, okay i've been very interested <laughs> in how le pen has been campaigning yeah. yeah, that's that's mm-hmm. kind of what I've been interested in the most, because um, oh, I do have a great sentence from the Financial Times that I, I, yes. I Yulia, I would like to read Please. to you, um, because Yulia, yes. we all know you're a you're a girl boss, um, <laughs> yes. so stay yeah, stay winning. So <clears throat> here we go from the Financial Times in the south of France. Marine Le Pen is hoping that her far-right party is about to break the glass ceiling by winning regional election. <laughs> yes! Slay and- queen, I guess. Yes, queen. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. 
I was going to play the audio drop of uh, women are doing it for themselves, just right here. <laughs> um, hmm. What's interesting, though, is that this this line is literally under a picture of a, a man called Thierry. Uh, what's his last name? Mariani. Thierry Mariani. Thierry Mariani. Yes. Uh, this Mariani. is the guy. Something yes. Italian. He is of yeah, Italian who descent. Are these non French <laughs> names? So, yeah. Yeah. Papacito <laughs> Mariani. <laughs> <laughs> this is what? This is what? The fucking Spaniards, Italians ruined France, which is different, not Latin at all. We are, we're still, we're still Gauls, we're still Celts. It's fine. Um, (laughs) But okay, so Mariani is of Italian descent because he is from uh, the Paca region, uh, uh, which Mm. is. Yes. Provence de l'Alpe Côte d'Azur. Côte, Côte d'Azur. Yes, that's it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that, that spells out Paca. So people call it Paca. Uh, uh, and this is uh, the region that everyone's kind of focusing on because this looks like a region. Like, okay, without a doubt, National Rally is going to win this region, basically. Yeah. It's the mm-hmm. polls, it's like a complete fucking slam dunk. There is no one with a chance of winning this other than. Uh, Mariani's uh, national rally, but makes sense. A lot of rich people. <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely. And this is this is a Les Republicans. Yeah. Uh, this is a stronghold for Les Republicans, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. And this is where uh, Marine Le Pen has been campaigning. Basically. Yeah, and also a region. Uh, I mean, I think the RN and FN have a lot of like small communes communities mm-hmm. uh, oh, communes <laughs> yes <laughs> welcome to our worker cooperative everyone has yes. to uh, equally <laughs> share out the racism work that we do um, um yeah <laughs> no sorry yeah. commune is like what the word for like a metropolitan <laughs> like a metropolitan area in france um, that the communes are- <laughs> the communes <laughs> Yes, because there, there's okay. So this is this is the interesting thing, and this is related to Sarkozyism, I think, because mm-hmm. um, Sarkozyism, if I'm not mistaken, as compared to other Les Republican figureheads, he was a bit more vulgar. He was a bit more saying the quiet part loud. You know, yeah. he just did like like instead of like hand wringing about the banyu, he would just say like, "Oh, it smells funny. I don't like people who live there. They're weird yeah. or whatever." Like he was yeah. just just open with it, as opposed to maybe like I don't know, Jupon, like the or Juppé, what was his name? The 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 supposed Les Republican candidate was a bit more like Ah, I'm just about the economy. Or Juppé, whatever. yeah. I don't yeah. Juppé. Alain Juppé, that was what I was thinking of. Yeah. And um so the, the, this is the divide I feel like that's happening in Les Republicans because mm. there is what there's one uh region they're doing very, very well in, and that's Ile de France. Uh, uh, Paris. Yeah. This is your, your respectable rich people, your urban elite, uh, quiet racism, uh, rich people. Uh, a, a woman there is running by the name of I've lost it in the notes now, like Percuse or something like that. Pe- uh, Pecres. Um, she's running. There's a chance she might even be like the presidential candidate for Les Republican after she wins Ile de France. But the areas in which Front National are doing well are like areas that had like Les Republican mayors who got 88% of the vote because they were in favor of the Burkini ban. Like this very kind of oh, like, yeah. yeah, small town culture war racism shit rather than uh, Circuse, who's kind of like running on, I'm a reasonable figurehead at the head of like yeah. Ile de France's ac- yeah. uh, economy. Yeah. Um, so like, yeah. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I mean, this, like, Bukini uh, band and everything else, I mean, it, it is kind of almost mainstream now, isn't it? When you look at what happened now with, like, um, banning the hijab in, in, like, public positions and stuff like yeah. that, you know, and school positions and everything else just, like, earlier this year, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The, but it, it, it's it's a very good strategy on the part of Le Pen as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, yeah um, of course. Yeah. 
Okay. Especially in that region because you have beaches. Yes, you know, absolutely. Côte d'Azur, come on. Everyone is like, oh, I want to see bikinis. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like... <laughs> The guy, yeah, because like, yeah, this is the part of France that's close to Italy. Italy, we're all about the beautiful women. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Oh, I'm Thierry Mariani. <laughs> I hate the bikini. Um, yeah. yeah, but yeah, this this yeah, but don't go part. topless because that's no, like, no. yeah, no, no, yeah, no, that's... no, because God, God is still no, no. watching. <laughs> <laughs> Good yeah, Catholic God is God watching. Is still watching. Mm-hmm. <laughs> only the uh, only the Catholic one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So this is this is okay. This is Kieran's grand theory of European Catholics as as an Irish boy myself, which are there are two types of Catholics. There are hot Catholics and cold Catholics. <laughs> all right. Uniting okay. factors is you know alcoholism, but like. <laughs> You know, the hot Catholics do their alcoholism with wine in like a beautifully appointed cafe and have gorgeous food. While as cold Catholics, we do it with beer and we subsist on a diet of like raw potatoes. Uh, (laughs) Classic examples of cold Catholics, the Irish, the Poles, classic examples of hot Catholics, Spaniards, Italians. And of course, the synthesis between these two things is France. (laughs) Where, where Where there is confusion, right? Because... (laughs) <laughs> Les Republican is is now the party of rich cold Catholics, yes. but uh, Front National or uh, National uh, Rally is now the party of the hot Catholics, where where they are just <laughs> drunk and furious, <laughs> and, drunk and, furious. <laughs> and not being able to see specific parts of women, <laughs> but not too much. But not others. <laughs> <laughs> not, not others. Maron, um, because okay. But like uh, Mariani is yeah. uh, uh, is the face of this uh, in Paca specifically. Uh, his popularity himself seems to be doing a lot of it. Uh, he is from the Sarkozy government. He was minister of transport under Sarkozy, and mm-hmm. like that whole section of Les Republicains seems to have like gone to national rally now. And Surprise. also, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Yulia, I think you enjoyed this because this is kind of a Volotron uh, uh, throwback. But in classic Ooh. European fashion, uh, Mariani is embroiled in several scandals involving Azerbaijani laundering and lobbying. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> this because... is real politics. <laughs> yeah. Like, we, like uh, the, so- the Southern Europeans are learning from us classy Northern Europeans about how to do yeah. politics, which is just to let a burly Azerbaijani man bribe you. <laughs> um yeah so that's also great um but i also want to say that this was also seems to have been largely fucked by macron as well yeah um macron pulled out les republican les republican march um pulled out of the region they're not running in the regional elections in paca Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm. and they have backed les republican uh, yeah. which yeah. means for these kind of culture warrior uh, left type, uh, right wing types, uh, the hot Catholics, they're, um, Les Republican don't look like opposition anymore. Mm. They look like they're mm-hmm. working with Macron. Um, and as soon as Macron announced that he was backing the incumbent Les Republican candidate in PACA, that's when he fell in the polls. That's when he started falling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what's happening in Paca, which is a lot of where this discussion is focused, but it's worth pointing out that basically every region that touches Ile de France mm-hmm. is could swing to Les Republicains. Uh or not Les Republicans, sorry, to, yeah, Front National. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Rest National. Yeah. Right, yeah. Change their name. God damn it. <laughs> I mean <laughs> National Rally, yeah, yeah. So like uh all the northern regions, uh, uh, it looks like Normandy and Haute de France looks mm-hmm. like they'll go Les Republicans, but it's like two mm. percent yeah. difference in the polls. Ooh. That could be a statistical yeah. error. Um, the uh, I think it what, what's it Grand Est or something that oh, region I, that's like oh, yeah, it's, Alsace, it's the part that touches yeah close to Germany. Yeah, yeah. The, that, the Big East. The, the Big East, yeah. <laughs> Marron. Uh, just, when you say it, it sounds like so much more like New Yorker. Like, I'm from the Big East. 
<laughs> the Staten <laughs> Island of France. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but like that region. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of the Staten Island. Sorry. <laughs> Staten Island of France, yeah. But that region looks like it could go to uh, uh, Front National as well, at uh, National Rally. Mm-hmm. Um, similarly, the regions to the south look is like a toss up between uh, Parti Socialist and mm-hmm. uh, National Rally as well. Um, and yeah, the south where... has the only, I mean, in the, la- in the last uh, municipal elections, um, the Rassemblement National won their first like big city in Perpignan which is mm-hmm. on the border of, um, like, close to the border with Spain. Um, and so the mayor of Perpignan is, um, oh, I'm forgetting his name right now, but um, is um, Rassemblement National. Um, so, yeah, mm. that region is sketchy. And even if you look at, like, the like the region that Lyon is in, um, I mean, you look at the first round because, like, they it's, like, um, in there's like a first round and then a second yeah. round. Um, and the first round, I mean, so the like outgoing president who is with um, Les Républicains is in, mm. uh, is like far ahead of everybody else. But the second, the like second place with 19% is the member of the Rassemblement National. Um, yeah. So. It's, it's worth pointing out oof. that like two other regions uh, out in the West, uh, Brittany and the, uh, um, Stupid one beside it that's not Celtic enough for my liking. Um, Vendée. <laughs> PDIL is what I have written here. Is the uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. They, um, by the looks of the polls, it looks like the national rally candidate there will win in the first round. That's... But then. Uh, oh, but we'll then come the out ahead round. in the first round? Okay, yeah. Because. Uh, yeah, yeah. Not win directly. Not yeah. win directly. I, I sh- okay, I was yeah. like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, because if you if you get fifty percent in the first round, you, there's, just there's no, no second round. round. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which uh, I don't think looks like that's going to happen in any other regions. I don't think it'll happen in any other regions. Uh, yeah. Um, maybe Corsica, um, with their regionalist party. The but but like yeah, there, there's a strategy in the PDIL region where like if. Um, Basically, there's the Greens and Party Socialists, and if Greens come second, Party Socialists will drop out and join yeah. them. And if oh, cool. that's if been the strategy, Party- yeah. that was the strategy in a lot of the municipal elections as well. With the like, it's Europe Ecologie des Verts, so mm. Europe Ecology, the Greens, um, yes. and uh, the PS, and then in some cases, um, the uh, France Insoumise and the Parti Communiste PCF, the Parti Communiste de France, yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, but most notably between Parti PS and Les Verts, um, yeah. like lot in the la- in the municipal elections, like a lot of cities went. I mean, Lyon and the um, the metropolitan region went green. Um, yeah, and, wasn't there like uh, a famous green mayor in uh, Grenoble as well? Yeah, Grenoble, Eric Piolle. He's been there. Yeah. He's been there for a wh- for a while now. Oh, okay. um, he served a couple of mandates. Yeah, um, I mean, I don't know if we want to talk about the Greens, but uh... no, no, we've made our complaints <laughs> known before. <laughs> um, uh, yeah. <laughs> the like the now um, president of the Metropole of Lyon, who's a member of Greens, uh, came to my bar all the time. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> they, yeah. <laughs> With all of his oh, yeah. like staff, it's funny. Oh yeah, fair he just enough. likes to drink alone. <laughs> no, the, no, no, he, he makes came his, with his make, staff. Yeah, he makes his staff. Uh, uh, with drink the staff. Alone with him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, I, I understood without. I was like, yeah, uh, he's just like sad uh, drinking no, alone. <laughs> that would make him more like I would personally like him better. I think. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> But it's funny they have a ten- they like really forget that people really forget that servers like have ears and brains sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's, it's very classic. Funny. Damn, you can, you can give us some inside information on the. <laughs> I mean, it's nothing you didn't already know. <laughs> okay. But, um, yeah, yeah. The, the the greens in France always interest me because like there's this one guy in a in a in a Paris uh, uh, what's the fancy word they use for I like a that's yeah. it that's the one um but like there's a green there who's like 
I'm for Palestinian rights. And it's like, cool. And my other big yeah. thing is just banning all billboards. Yeah. Those are my only <laughs> politics. It's like, oh, this is I mean, great. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, um, yeah, it's like, well, yeah. It's yeah, something it's, you can run on, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's a thing, sure, yeah. Like, I, 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 <laughs> I was into Fall Out Boy when I was younger, and you have this. It's fine. <laughs> um, we all have our things. Um, but, okay. There's this one little electoral story that I wanted to bring up. I, I, I think I, I've, I've painted a picture here that um, I should say the conclusion of this is that like Macron and Le Republic on March is kind of relying next year on the, mm. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think everyone outside of France knows exists if they pay attention to politics for f- five seconds, the Republican front, uh, yeah. the idea that if a second round happens between yeah someone perceived as sensible and reasonable versus national rally everyone should if they're good people vote for the somewhat reasonable person even if they're now attacking national rally from the right um it's a it's yeah yeah i mean like um... i mean it already is kind of what happened in the like last presidential election oh definitely Definitely. yeah absolutely um but saying saying that marie le pen is not like radical sorry not no, radical enough anymore on her anti-islamism and stuff like that yeah I mean, so too friendly to islam yeah. was the too friendly to islam yeah here yeah. we go and she looked genuinely dumbfounded when someone said yeah that. she was like did she just say that like what the oh, fuck <laughs> um, no no that's my thing you listen to yeah. follow boys <laughs> yeah <laughs> you <know. laughs> um yeah but like the the thing about that now is and and this is something that Macron has been gearing up for a long time ago. I remember it was like mm. maybe a year or two years ago they like changed some electoral advertising laws in France that allowed mm-hmm. like vote share to determine how much like ad space you got, mm. which was mm. like basically means okay, so there's only going to be ads for yeah, Le Republic on March and uh, uh, Front National now National yeah. Rally. Um, interesting because like he just wants to force that dichotomy because that's the only way he can win comfortably. It's the, it is yeah yeah or at least that's how he envisions but now he's faced with the strategy of actually le pen is now being perceived as the new sensible right wing or sensible enough to pick off his republican voters which mm-hmm. means if it comes to a second round next year you mightn't be able to get those Liz republican voters to vote for you like they did last time yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So that's fucked. And that is fucked. <laughs> equally <laughs> fucked, but a little bit funnier, is <laughs> my last little thing I'm going to say about the elections. So I've been informed there is a region in France called Haute de France. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, it's in the north, it borders Belgium. Uh, this is your classic kind of, as far as I understand, your left behind region of France. There used to be a lot of manufacturing <laughs> jobs, there isn't any more. Yeah. They're pissed and they vote national rally now, uh, or doing a lot of like localities and stuff. And the national rally candidate there um, recently got exposed for having a very interesting social media manager. Um, he had, after promising in his campaign that he was only going to hire local for his campaign, mm-hmm. you know, everything in Haute de France, you know. Uh, he hired uh, uh, um, someone from Toulouse, which I believe is not mm-hmm. Haute de France. Uh, no, um, not at all. <laughs> not at all. No, very far away. Some some hot Catholic bitch to come <laughs> in, <laughs> in, um, in cold Catholic country. Wheat, potatoes, straight from the ground. <laughs> um, <laughs> He hired the spokesperson, the former spokesperson from uh, Generation Identity uh, to run his social media campaign. Yes. (laughs) This is a one, uh, uh, Thais uh, Descoufon. That's not her real name. Her real name is... She has a super long name, right? Yes, because I I believe she's a a fancy lady. Um... Actually, uh, Camille, mm-hmm. can you do the honor of reading her full name in, in the bottom yes. of the notes there? <laughs> I, know. I want um, the full experience here. Anne Thaïs du Tertre d'Esquefon. Yes. Fond Dayton Land. <laughs> Thank you. 
um so yeah a bit of a bit of a bougie name there yeah when you see uh, the do yeah yeah when you when you yeah. feel important to let everyone know you're from somewhere yeah yeah like, uh, yeah uh, who, who the fuck do you think you are david that's, da Vinci? that's royalty that's royalty yeah <laughs> you know that 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 might be that might be the higher to the throne this might be a consideration for the <laughs> there is a fact <laughs> there is a faction of royalists who want her to rule france yes <laughs> um okay so she was being paid 800 euros a month to like run his Facebook page, uh, run his Twitter account, run his Instagram account, even though she personally has been banned from all three mm-hmm. of these networks um, yeah. for being a part of Generation Why Identity. Is which is be- <laughs> yeah. For the beginning of the year, was yeah. ruled as a legal organization <laughs> in France. Um, not yeah. because of any of the nice. heinous shit they do, but because of foreign funding. Um, oh. so I think as far no as no way, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and also she is going on on election day this Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. She will be on trial, <laughs> trial, trial in, in, in a course in Toulouse for setting up a a, a migrant blockade in the Pyrenees mm-hmm. Mountains. Oh. Yep, which um. Correct me if I'm wrong. Doesn't strike me as a major migrant crossing position for France. Um, the Pyrenees. The Pyrenees. I'm gonna the Pyrenees. I mean, I I'm gonna just say that I have no idea. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I I feel like maybe I I, just like, I, I feel like the Italian not, I, border is where, but yeah, yeah. I yeah, I only know this as a crossing part, like. For uh, by Tabenya, I mean, like when he fled the Nazis, for example. So he went like there. Yeah, there were a lot of groups back then, like going through this pass, trying to get to Spain and then trying to get yeah. to the US. And like Walter Benjamin, so mm. the German philosopher uh, associated with uh, Frankfurt School, was one of the people trying to get there. It's a very sad anecdote because he took his life there, and there's still a little like a memorial. Mm. But yeah, that that is what I know for like refugees trying <laughs> to pass Le Pyrénées. Yeah. <laughs> so that was yeah. that was uh, uh, eighty years ago. <laughs> that is not today. <laughs> in the, in the year twenty twenty one. No, no, no. It's just like it's. I just it just strikes me as like that this incredibly mountainous region is possibly not. It like, is. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not like a migration. Route I think it's anymore. just close to Toulouse. <laughs> Which yeah, is where she's yeah. From. They were just they were just lazy. They were just like <laughs> do a day trip. Like I'm not yeah, going to block some migrants. Like yeah, you know, yeah. <laughs> you know, just like go out to see some of the lakes, whatever. You know, <laughs> it'll be fine. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what's happening. He's a uh, he's he's basically now cut her loose, uh, and a lot of oh. the campaign staff are saying like, oh, we didn't know this was happening. We mm-hmm. were just, I don't know, is that a better look? We were just paying a random. Early twenty Young. year old, eight hundred euro a month. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, no, it's, I mean, it's not incriminating. Not. Yeah, I just, I was just paying this young woman a retainer fee. <laughs> not suspicious, <laughs> no matter how you look at it. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> I mean, it's... yeah, yeah. He's still doing well so... in the polls. <laughs> oh wow! After this, I mean, they probably like would support that anyway. So like, oh yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. They don't care about scandal. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they think this is a great scandal because they're like, oh yeah, like she tries to block migrants. Yeah, I love this or something. Yeah. So basically, that goes right down their alley. It's more like a right wing direct action, I guess. That is something very generation identity kind of thing. Mm-hmm. I, I like I like the idea that there is someone in like. It's a very interesting position in Haute de France, just being like, I don't know why he why he hired this Toulouse bitch. He should hire someone in Haute de France who is blocking the Walloons. The Walloons are trying to come in. Yes, the real enemy of France. <laughs> the national like the, 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 the national rally voter is just like aggressively racist towards Walloons. <laughs> No, they are not the same as us. They are they are different. Their brains are a different shape. They love crime. Yeah. <laughs> they love crime. Different shapes. <laughs> the woman. 
Uh, um, thank you for entertaining my terrible French accent. <laughs> It's beautiful, beautiful. So, I love it, music. Like the original. <laughs> so, I believe that is everything. Um, Camille, thank you for coming on. Uh, thank you so um, much for having me. <laughs> do you have anything to, to shout out, to talk yeah. cool shit about? <laughs> um, I just want to plug DSA in France, a group of folks affiliated with DSA who are living in France. Um, you can find us on Twitter um, and on Facebook, I believe. Um, and I just want to shout out if you're living in France, um, reach out to us. We're always like looking for new members. We do cool stuff. We read books, we organize round tables um, and we organize with our comrades in the States from here. Um, so yes, check out DSA in France. <laughs> nice. Do that. There will be links to that in the description. If you are yes. French and you uh, want to support socialist politics, maybe you're in favor of having the monarchy back, but like the left mm-hmm. monarchy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> not like those I damn Bonaparte. Yeah. Philosopher King. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Philosopher King. <laughs> who just, you know, who just wants to build trains, fund local regions, hates balloons. <laughs> Just, you know, classic stuff. <laughs> Just, you know. <laughs> a, a blinding rage, seething rage towards the Belgians. <laughs> a very specific type mm-hmm. of Belgian. Anyway, um, with that, we will see you guys on the bonus feed. Ciao, ciao. Bye. Oh, au revoir. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir, à plus. Yeah, yes. we need to go back to our our, our corner spady roots of recording in a big room where we all are like three beers deep. <laughs> I'm so drunk. Yeah, oh my god. In the beginning, I was only oh, drunk fun. on every episode. Oh, it's so good. No, I was going so to. Through, I was. I was great. I was also going through a tough break. <laughs> but... <laughs> yeah, we're all thing. dealing with things. <laughs> I think my favorite episode is still the one where we're talking about like um, Zara Fagnacht. Oh, like, I'm just... racist handjob. Yeah, racist handjobs. Great episode. Wait. I love that. Oh, okay. It's it's called hey, racist handjobs. I'll go with the dark guy. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, maybe you should. Half, you should. Okay. Halfway through, like, halfway through, I just break down and was like, I'm not sober. <laughs> Start yelling oh at Zara Yeah, very drunk. Very good. <laughs> uh, I miss it. Bring me back. Bring me back. All right. All Elections. Right. Well, sometimes yeah. they happen. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> like normally these days, I, I, it's just one beer. <laughs> people cannot. Oh, like, since the bar opened back up, people have forgotten. Some people have forgotten how to behave. <laughs> oh when yeah. They're drunk oh, yeah. in public. <laughs> we That's we true. are. That's we true. haven't. <laughs> these got <guys>, yeah. <laughs> we haven't seen people in two years. The collective humanity is feral. We are all feral now. <laughs> Don't know how to act. The customers are so funny. They're like, they make they crack me up. <laughs> Good. I want, bar, I want French bar stories. Let's do that later. Um, yeah, another, that time. <laughs> another time. Another <Please>. time. <laughs> I come visit. <laughs> yeah, come. Leon is great. Also, we are very close to Tel Hermitage dans la Drôme. It's a stop on my train. Oh, great! <laughs> so if I want to visit, visit. <laughs> yeah. when Macron was slapped in the face, yeah. yes, <laughs> <laughs> on a premium pilgrimage. <laughs> no. Please, please. I've never been to Lyon, so uh, yeah, it, I, I heard Point. it's a technological city, <laughs> like the technology is big. Um, yeah, well, that of... was that was my that Sorry, was my French no. book from the eighties. So, like, mm. it was an old French book. So I don't know I if they're thinking about the plastics and pharmaceutical industry. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 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 Yep. The old VHS factory closed down, and Leon has never been the same. <laughs> Beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll, uh, Corner Spady will come to Leon. We will see the place where Macron got slapped. We'll tour. We'll do a live show called Bring Back the King. The tour. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. Leave All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll just, be a, it'll just be a picture of that like firefighter who started fighting the cops during Chile Junes. It's like make oh, him gay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the firefighters yeah. unions here are sick though. <laughs> nice. Yeah, extremely hot. <laughs> Very... Oh, excellent. Oh, French <laughs> firefighters. <laughs> I got a new thing. Now. Well, you have... <laughs> it's funny. You have the two different ones. You have the volunteer firefighter forces who are bad, mm. very bad cosplay. Yes, like... yeah. No, no, no. Very up. bad. <laughs> and then you have the professional firefighters who are unionized. Yeah, <laughs> unionized Very firefighters. Good. I just like the I like the concept. The the image you're painting of the volunteer firefighters is in front of a burning building. Just like I don't know. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was so mean. I'm sure <laughs> they do good things, but like scratching their heads and like, but, damn. I, I just like to say, fire. I just like to formally apologize to all of the French volunteer <laughs> yeah, firefighters. Uh, uh, yeah, I was, like they're uh, volunteering. Oh, uh, what, what good am I? I I am. I am not. I, I am, am so not, sorry. I am so sorry. I cannot put out this fire, and also I am ugly. <laughs> I am scared, oh, so okay. okay, I'm getting sweaty from laughing. Sorry, it's like not great. I'm so sorry. Just, just like take the section and just put it at the end of the episode. Just like insane. Yeah, heat do it. Yes, do heat it. Madness. <laughs> The heat madness <laughs> section of the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. All right. Okay. Elections. Elections. 